The National Air and Space Museum's L-5 is significant not only because it is the first L-5 ever produced, but also because it has the Brody system installed. Lieutenant James Brody designed this unusual system during the war as a means of launching and recovering light planes from ships without having to use any portion of the deck itself. These aircraft would then go and spot enemy submarines and report their position to destroyers. However, the only operational service of the Brody system came in the closing stages of the Pacific War where they were used to launch and recover artillery spotting aircraft. During the lead up to the invasion of Okinawa, L-5s and L-4s launched from an LST using the Brody system encountered a small island that was ringed by a series of caves with what appeared to be small railroad tracks running just beneath the surface of the waves. The L-5 pilots immediately reported this find back to the fleet. A group of destroyers was sent out to shell these caves, not knowing what they were, but realizing that it was probably something of military significance. After the island was taken, it was realized that there were approximately 350 Japanese suicide boats laden with explosives in each of these caves. The purpose of these boats was to ram the rudders of the large ships in the fleet. This would disable them and allow the airborne kamikaze aircraft to come over and attack stationary targets. This small but significant contribution was the major achievement of the Brody gear during the war.